Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Elden Ring guide video. In this one we're going over how to get one of the best pieces of armor in game for your tank builds, which is used a lot in the current meta in PvP and PvE. The armor is missable and if you miss it you'll need to start a new playthrough or wait until the game is in New Game Plus, but I will go over how to get it step by step. Let's get started. Now this armor set is found by completing a mission for the notorious NPC patches and is also part of the Volcano Manor missions. To get the bull goat's armor, head to the Murkwater Cave and you will find Patches inside after opening a chest. He will accuse you of stealing and then you will fight him. Three quarters away through the fight, Patches will yield and the fight is over. You have to make sure that you don't kill him here. If you do, then you will miss this armor. After he's defeated, you can speak to him again at the Scenic Isles Point of Grace. You can also meet him at Mount Gelmir. But you can skip all those parts and continue on the game until you get to the Volcano Manor and start the missions here by speaking with Tanith. After speaking with Tanith, you're going to want to speak to Bernal and he will give you a letter where you have to go and fight and kill Old Knight Istvan. After returning to Tanith and getting your rewards, you can speak to the other NPCs in the manor and they include patches. He will give you a letter and you must complete a target that you have to kill and it will show up as a red target on your map. Now from here travel to the ravine veiled village and climb all the way up to the top past the ruin strewn precipice and all the way to the precipice overlook. It's a bit of a journey past a lot of those bat creatures and other enemies, but there is really only one way to go here, and that is up. Once you reach the ruins strewn precipice overlook point of grace, you need to defeat a boss first called the Magma Worm Maker. Once defeated, rest at the new site of grace and a red summoning marker will appear here in order for you to summon the Great Horned Tregoth. Once defeated, the Bulgo armor is dropped as a reward. So that is how you get this awesome armor. For stats, the armor's full set has the highest physical damage negation, negation versus strike. It's the second highest against pierce and one of the best for slash as well. It's also in the top 10 for magic damage negation and resistances, which is good. But what really makes it powerful is it gives you over 100 poise, making your resistance to collapsing under enemy attacks very high, which is very useful for any armor. 
Now, the only downside to using it is its weight, and it's the heaviest armor in game, and requires tons of stamina to use, but all in all, it's the perfect armor for any tank build. If you combine it with the fingerprint stone shield and a good piercing weapon, then you have a solid tank build for you to use. But guys, that is it for this one. I wanted to give you the location of one of the best armors in game to use with some of the strongest builds in the game, especially in PvP in the current meta. If you want to see more gear guides, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest updates and patch notes to the game as well. I'm sure we'll see one very soon, and I will see you all next time.